As a man thinketh, so he become. Each and every thought which we, we bring forth, each and every thought. First, eh, let us uh, differentiate between uh, thought and mind. Because these are two different things, and many people are confusing them to be one thing, thought and mind. A thought, eh? a thought is natural crea created, and a mind is made up of society. How it is, how it's programmed by the society. Thought is a natural phenomena of the body, but the mind is always running behind something or running for something. Thought come and thoughts come and go, and sometimes eh, they doesn't exist at all. But the truth is that we are the dilemma. We are in dilemma that we are mind, but reality differs. That is the mind. Mind is a problem, which others want you to do. It is a program. Mind is a program. Thought is not a program. My, my, mind is governed by society, priests, churches, religions, this and that, peer groups. But thought is pure. It, is, it originates regularly inside you. Thought comes from you. Mind is something programmed. Thought is very, very independent creature. But the mind is parasitic in nature. And it is the mind that triggers thoughts. How, the program, how your mind is programmed is how you are thought patterns become. When you are programmed that this thing cannot be renowned or renamed, you will have the same thoughts if that thing reoccurs back to you. And immediately thoughts are projected outward. Thoughts are energies. Thoughts are energies. Each thought has got energy. It's like our own words. Each single word has got energy. Words and, th and thoughts, when they are projected outward to the consciousness, they cannot be uh, undone. Any thought, any thought and any word projected to the consciousness cannot be undone because consciousness has got no delete button. Every word and thought are seeds which will always come to pass. That's why the Bible is very clear. As a man thinketh, so he is. You become what you think. And most of the times, eh, or let me say, most our lives, our patterns of lives are just but our thoughts. And our thoughts, they pick it. They pick they pick these translations from the mind. How the mind is programmed is how you think. Then you become that. Because our all circumstances in life are just but our programs. That's why Apostle Paul of the Christian works says that renewal comes from the transformation of the mind. Because it is the mind that provokes the thoughts. And the, prob the problem with the mind is that this mind is mysterious because the same mind has got a part which is 
the physical mind and at the other it's like a coin one side is a physical mind the, the other side is the higher mind or the Christ mind or the mind of God but the mind of God the mind of God works only when the other side is silent like it works when you are not thinking about what your mind about the programs of your mind that mind christ minds the mind of god the divine mind only works when there is none, the physical mind is not active therefore for the higher mind to be operational the physical mind must be silent silent of thoughts that is where that's why we are being called to be still and know that i and know that i am god be still stealing your thoughts because each mind has got to have time to think our physical mind receives instructions from us on how to think but the higher mind is independent it does not take from our thoughts our physical thoughts or thought pattern the higher mind picks from the emotional body so this is how it works the programs of the outward reality taken by the thought pattern or the thoughts and they are the thoughts that bring or triggers emotions in us so the higher mind reads the emotions and the trickiest part is that the higher mind is the mind of god it is not biased it is not biased it sees everything as god it sees everything as of god therefore it is not going to filter any kind of emotions which you have triggered it will pick all the emotions within you either positive or negative and then it conceives the physical mind the physical mind work physical minds work it is only to perceive and the physical mind itself it perceives the outward reality through the five physical senses because no one has experienced the physical reality outside of the five physical senses and actually even the mind the physical mind does not pick the signals i error there it is not the physical mind that picks the signals from the five physical senses it is the brain it is the brain that picks signals from the five physical sense, uh, senses and then the brain processes that then that is when the physical mind picks now just to analyze this huh? the phys- signals are are picked by the five physical senses by by the five physical senses then they are taken to the brain to be processed and then that is when the physical mind after processing the brain the physical mind now judges that wow this is good or this is bad immediately you touch something touch senses to the brain brain translates that and the physical mind 
picks it up and identifies that which you have touched. Therefore, the physical mind, number one, the one greatest attribute of the physical mind is that it is never in the present moment. Whatever it translates, it has passed. Never, never in the present moment. As it, the action has to be in the physical senses first, then to the brain, then after that to the physical mind. So here, the trouble is the physical mind. Because its job, the job of the physical mind is for your survival purposes to identify this and that. To identify this and that. Therefore, we just have to train our mind on how to pick up reports. On what report they pick from the brain. Not to choose, but how to translate the report it receives from the brain. Because immediately it translates it the other way, which does not favor you, it will trigger emotions, which will be picked by the higher mind to be conceived. Transformation comes from the renewal of the mind. Only when you renew the mind to be in one accord in one, and one agreement with the higher mind, then there will be that flow of the trinity. And this is the another kind of trinity. Trinity of the higher mind, the physical mind, and the physical realm. Because the physical mind is the one which is in the middle. Another form of trinity of the higher mind, physical mind, and the physical realms. Becoming to one agreement. Which agreement? Agreement of the higher mind. Because the higher mind is not subjected to the lower mind. It cannot submit to the lower, to the physical mind. The higher mind or the mind of the Christ, it knows and it sees everything as itself because nothing exists outside of God. Therefore, the, the physical mind, therefore, the physical mind has to come into agreement with that because it is the physical mind that judges this is bad, this is good, this is darkness, this is that. But the higher mind sees everything as itself, as God. The higher mind sees everything as God, of God. The Christ mind sees everything as Christ because it knows everything comes from it, comes from God. The Bible says this in Isaiah 47, 45, 7. I create light and darkness. I bring good and evil. I, the Lord God, do it them all. Meaning that the higher mind has got the right to see everything as God because Everything is of itself. The mind of God is God by itself. The physical mind, which is the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And we were warned that the day we partake of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, we shall surely die. It is the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The mind of Christ knows not. of identities and names of anything. It sees everything as God. 
Therefore, the physical mind has got to come to agreement with the higher mind. Into one agreement so that the outward reality manifests manifests out of the perfect divine order. Because everything is flowing in the perfect divine order. No matter what comes outside of you, no matter what experience you are experiencing outside of yourself, it is in perfect divine order. You are not experiencing anything outside of you. All life experiences, all life circumstances outside of you, all people who come to, to your real, who comes to participate in your reality are a reflection of who you are. No one is experiencing anything strange outside of themselves. It's either you are experiencing yourself, who you are, not what you are, who you are, because what you are is magnificence. Who you are, your thoughts and emotions, or you are experiencing lessons pulled forth by your soul. And it's either we accept them as lessons, not, not classifying them as negative experiences, not denying anything outward. Denial is what is bringing problems and issues to us. Because when you deny something, you have denied God. Because nothing is not of God. Everything comes from God. Immediately you deny something, no matter how negative it is. Know that it is part and one with God. The mind, and this is the, our, our mind has got, uh, our physical mind has got three functions only. Thinking, feeling, and wanting only. Number one, thinking. Thinking about, like, is busy trying to make sense of the world by judging, perceiving, analyzing, clarifying, determining, and comparing everything. In the side of feeling, it tells us how we are doing. Our mind tells us, ah, I am broke, I am this, I am that. It is the mind that tells us. It tells us if we are happy, sad, depressed, anxious, stressed, calm, worried, excited. All this is the feeling part of the mind. Then there is the drive, the, there is the wanting part of the mind which drives us to drive, which drives us to act as we do on our goals and desires, purposes, agendas, values, and motives. This is the work of the physical mind. And there are there is a some some kind of a, a, a relationship between these three aspects of the the works of the mind. And each one is influencing each one, the thinking part, the feeling part, and the wanting part. Your behavior like our own be, our own behaviors, eh? It's a summation of our, of our own thinking. It is, an, some, it is just a summary of our own thinking, how we feel and wants or desires. The three jobs all at once is what defines who we are. So, the physical mind is a crude mind because it's, it's, it's only for sensing through our physical senses, that is our ears, eyes, nose, tongue, and skin, for desires, attraction, and dislikes, and for acting, movement of things, like when you are walking, operating your hands, your feet, even talking sexually activities and uh, 
some other part of excretory organs like when you are going to the you are going to the go, like going to the bathroom it is a crude mind but there is that mind which is the mind of Christ which it is also referred as the subconscious mind This subconscious mind is the one which recreates things already perceived by the mind.